Continent X 211. Educating the youths through films. I can only say thank you so much to every young person out there. May God bless you and may God bless our country, South Sudan. <laughs> My name is Kader, the person you've been following for a while now. And um, this is the day for us to share some reasonable uh, topic, things to do with my advocacy, things to do with my music, things to do with why we have had these ups and down, uh, back and forth. I wanted to have this honest conversation with us or with you, so we exactly, you know, be on the same page from now and the way forward. Um, I hope many of us will connect better on that. So whether you have degree or you have masters or you have whatever, you cannot invent anything new. You have to be employed. You have to be a worker, a staff. Even if you are a leader, you have to be a worker because you cannot invent something new. You are taught only to remember. At some point, you have to actually go back to the book and read <laughs> how you could do it. Yet, you are a qualified doctor. But if operation is what you know, then you will only do that. You will not invent a new drug in Africa. That's the school system. That's how we are taught. And so there's no education that is like paradise. Whether you have a degree or whatever, you're still the same with just any other person. But what can separate you or make you unique out of this society is that if you remember well what you are taught then you will definitely achieve in your goal or in your career now can we say this is why uh, South Sudan is not prospering or is not moving forward definitely not Africa is like that we are not different from any other African countries what we go through, they go through. But it is only in Rwanda where they have a leader who encourage technology and empower women, young people to be innovative, change makers. And somehow, somewhere in other countries, But in our own, we are still very behind. So some of the things I get annoyed with and frustrated with, and sometimes I brush it on your face. But the truth is, I know the reality too. Even when I'm harsh, even when I'm very aggressive and radicals about some things, I know dealing with reality sometimes is not beneficial. Because if I can't change things, then why frustrate? But then there's a saying that as much as you keep it constant, you will be joined by others. And someone somewhere may know a way forward if you are lucky. So with those beliefs, this is why I stay very constant about our issues. But something I have to come into consideration too. I have a career. 
that need my attention. But is my career important more than you, my people? No. A man without people goes nowhere. That is the truth. And so what am I trying to do here? Balance the two. Which one is more powerful than the other one? Definitely my music. Because without it, then I will not have a voice. And without it, you will not support me or follow me. But with it today, I can sit here and say something. But can you say something to nobody? No, you can only say something to someone. And this is why I balance the two. The music and my political advocacy for the people and for the injustices that are happening every day in our life. I chose this day to talk to you. I may not take long, but I will be able to, to, to tell you exactly what I think and why I believe that a change to my approach might be vital. I appreciate most of you that does comments, likes, share. You're making a statement. But there are cowards who don't act like you. They go behind the doors, the message. They go to the inbox and write straight. Sometimes I read them, sometimes I don't read them. Sometimes I take their advice into consideration. Some of these people are very powerful in our countries. They don't comment. And they don't write publicly. And their reasons might not be only that they don't know how to write. Some of these people are very well educated. But they choose to be silent. Not because they are cowards. But sometimes. The opposition could threaten them. Because the truth. Shake men's that are not real to themselves. But there are two things involved in that. One important reason might be the fact that they care about me. And so they don't want to do it publicly, but they want to do it privately. Write me messages, write me emails to reach out to me. Some of them call me on the phone and tell me exactly what they think, what they appreciate about me. They think they like the things they don't like, how they want to discourage me from my stand. Some of them actually goes as far as begging me to stop but doing it with kindness. Some of them, they don't do it with kindness. They do it with, you know. Intimidation, threats. But there's one thing that is so vital or very important to me. It is the life. Your life, my life. And that time is the most powerful tool that can help every man at any given time to redirect things and change things. 
So sometimes I look back and listen to these people. At times, I just agree and say, oh, you're never going to see another political post. But I would later on call them back and say, we talked a few hours ago, or we talked three days ago, we talked two weeks ago, and you told me this. And I want to hear your honest stand on that. That time I was busy. That time I didn't have enough time to, to analyze what you said. And I want you to explain it to me in a better way. Sometimes I get lucky enough. I find them when they are very humble. They take time to help me understand the point and why things might be better if I choose a different approach. As a man, there are two things that you have to choose from. The truth and the lie. Truth is vita. It's very dangerous. You can lose your life if you stand for the truth. Lies, is, lies are also bad. They are washed. You can easily be knocked because you are not that strong as you keep lying or as you live a lie. You can be shaken, can be taken out. Your life can be taken away. So whichever way you choose, there's nothing better than the other. One of the truest things that you can deny is that after all, we all go, we all die. Whether you choose to live a lie or you choose to live an honest life. Jesus died. Though we choose an honest life, he still went. But she from the next door, our former president, is suffering now. How do you think things are going to end for us? The Libyan president, Muammar Gaddafi, is gone. All the great men you have known from the USA or the United States of America, they have all vanished. So whether you, you speak or you don't, the sickness of this world, the sickness, the diseases, they are real. They will get you. They get everybody. or the accidents, the unjust death, fine us, anyhow. So whether you speak or you don't speak, you still have to leave. There is only 150 years mandate for every man to exist. There's no different. It's not a safe heaven if you are neutral or you are truthful or you are lying or you are silent and mute. There's no safe heaven on that. There will be a day when something will just happen and sweep you. Um, 
Um, I have recently um, had a time to think over because the numbers of people telling me not to is like 80%. Not from my, not like I'm not tribal now, but uh, let me just be honest. Not from my tribe. <laughs> Eighty percent of South Sudanese, the messages that come in daily. Eighty percent of those messages. You can share this video. Um, but I also have to understand one thing that must be very important. The way ahead is not nowhere. It is us, South Sudanese, as a country, as a nation. It take one man to liberate the whole country. One man with a good ideology. Men can line up and follow that one man and they can liberate their country. We are not far from our history. We just got our independence not long ago. And it take one man to decide that we must go for a referendum. Not everybody. It's one person who decided that. It takes one man to say we must have a liberation. You can call it the Torrid Martini. You can call it whatever. You can call it the Aspiele. You can call it Anyanyas. You can call it whatever names. But it takes one man to come up with that. Not ten men. But one man, it came in his head and he said it. And then his brothers and country's men decided to see themselves in that one man vision. And so today we have a country. With that being said, I have to agree with the 80 percent that my advocacy for the new world is not benefiting them, which is true. And so we have to bring it and say, it, this is national. So if I have to say something, it has to be national. I embrace that. It is a good thing. I have to be a nationalist. I was never a tribalist even. But sometimes when you hurt a family, then a man in that family have to speak. That does not mean he is a tribal. It means he got hurt and he is advocating at his fence, you know, where he is, he's defensive. That's what he's doing. Uh, I write just some notes down that uh, we've been talking just from the head. In order for us to love ourselves as South Sudanese, we have to love God. I'm not telling you Jesus, I'm not telling you Muhammad, I'm not telling you Mundeng Bong, but I'm telling you that everybody goes to bed when it's night. Even Jesus did the same. When it's dark, everyone goes to bed, goes to their height spot. If you have any activities that you are doing in the night, it is not good because night is meant to rest. Love your land. We have to love our country. I have a strong political strategy. And this is what makes you guys speak a lot. Because you see that. 
It might be quite threatening to you, but it can only help organize us with our people together. I love the youth so much that I have only lived my life, my whole life, for 35 years now. I've only been partying with them, dancing with them, singing for them. I speak for them, for the people, and not me alone. I don't speak for me, I speak for the people, for the youth, for the young, for young men and women of our country. And I also open ways for us to discuss. This is why sometimes when I post, you, you, you interact, you comment. Sometimes your comment can be very uh, confronting and destroying. And so I do come around sometimes and comment. These are ways to discuss. I'm, I'm opening up rooms so that we can see the possibilities where X and Y have gone wrong. How X and Y can go right. But in those activities, I might have been wrong because I have only influenced one major section. But if we all win, then our country win. What is most important is not me as an individual, is not you as an individual. But what you do that makes you successful is what is most important for South Sudan. Because if you succeed, South Sudan succeed. Be it political, be it music, be it fashion, be it doctors, be it whatever, you are flying a plane. Whatever plane that you are flying, in whichever country, the pride will always go back home. I must say at this very point that I love those who let me down because most of the times I see very disturbing comments and I don't take your freedom away. I still keep you, I don't ban you, I don't block you. I still give you your freedom so that you can have a chance to come in again, so that you can have a chance to see the future with us, with me. But however much I do that, there are some of you who are very disrespectful at some point. So do not be a life opponent or a backstabber. See a way to relate from now on. I stand with the vulnerable. Not because I'm stranded. I'm a fly guy. My music is different. I can choose to do it just like any other musicians. But you are more important to me. you as a person you are more valuable to me than the money i can get than the music than the name than the popularity i can get and this is why sometimes it is very important i take times to resonate with you not because i can't do away with it It is a choice. 
I, I made a choice to speak. I made a choice to write. I made a choice to post. I made a choice to think. I have no difference with anybody who's not making a choice. Or who's just living their life. Be it less of whatever that they are. Be it more of whatever that they are. But I simply made that choice because I love people. And you are more important as a person. Uh, to conclude all this, we must be very uh, prayerful and, help, and hopeful for, for the people and for the country as well, South Sudan. Building our generation, including our own children. Sometimes when you reach a place and you don't give back, you are not only termed as a selfish person, but you are less important in that society. Because however much you would be remembered, however much you would be remembered, ninety percent of the good side of that would be on your reputation, your legacy, how you have lived your life, how you have contributed to others, how you have built your society, how you have helped the people from a certain level of life to the highest pinnacle or the highest pitch of your life will be the most effective part of it. Doesn't matter whether you have lived a hundred plus years or you have lived a zero, 10 years or less than 20, 30 years, however much you would be remembered positively, it would only be more effective if you have lived your life in a very effective manner on people, how you have helped others, how you have helped your community, how you have helped your country, how you have helped your generation. That will be much more important than just you existing in the world. And with that, your fruits or your children will remain forever cherished, valued, based on the contribution that you have done or you have given. How productive your life has been and not how long you have lived your life. So, with these few remarks, I believe I have made my point. And if you were listening right from the beginning, I believe you have learned something. I love our country. I love our people. I am not near anything divisions. I am not near anything tribal.
but I am near and truthful and very, very straightforward defending life, confronting the injustices, the inhumane act in our very young, beautiful country. Some of the things that we did to one another were very unfortunate. Yes. Very, very unfortunate. Some things we do not have control over. Some things we might have controlled them. At the end of this video, I will only say, let's be very hopeful and have faith and have love and be very cautious in our mind. Let's not jump quick into crit criticizing. Critics are good. They make us strong. Sometimes what you say might be something I've never had for the rest of my life. And it might be the truest thing. But if you say it, then I will read it and adjust my life and begin to say, oh, so this one has been the reality of my life. Let me uh, be able to do it or to, 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 to confront it and get out of it. Um, at this point or at this juncture, at this minute, I will only say that thank you so much to the people that have been very, very caring and very committed. To their commitment in making sure that they reach me out and making me believe that the future of South Sudan deserves young men like myself and you. Though there is less we can do, but however frustrated you were, in making sure that you make me understand your frustration toward me, toward my advocacy, toward my stand. Made me realize the value I have in this society, how important I am and how important you are. If you didn't communicate with me, I may not do this video. Some of the things I do them intentional. But they say the mind that is open to learn because life is a journey and it's a learning process. At every given stop sign, we learn new signs, new symptoms. The sign might help us to redirect our life, have a new path. Or could truly ruin everything that we have built. I cannot love people if I don't listen to people. I can only love people and listen to them. If I lose trust with people, and then what is it that I have to continue saying I may have in the future? People depend on you, you depend on people. And this is the result for this video today. I just want to say thank you so much to everyone that have reached me out. I may not read your names, 
because you choose to do it private. And not just that, but you are very many. It took us two months <laughs> to wrestle because this time I was very, very radical and confronting. Uh, I can only say thank you so much to every young person out there. May God bless you and may God bless our country, South Sudan. <laughs>